Hi, this is Pete. Welcome to my channel. First of all, I want to thank you for the great feedback on my videos and I think it's time to celebrate this a bit. During the last few months I had a lot of fun with my Pro 800 double pack and now I'm happy to present you my Pro 1600 patches for MediHub and the Mosaic app. So I hope that these will make it possible that some of you can share this fun and I'll take the opportunity here to make a few notes about the setup. The MediHub version is a realization of the ping pong scheme that I introduced in my first Pro 1600 video. It provides a hardware solution based on classical MIDI wiring. So you have to connect the two Pro 800 and your MIDI keyboard to the right MediHub inputs and outputs. Besides that, it's also necessary to adjust the right MIDI channels for these devices. I included this information in the patch description that you should inspect when you upload the patch to the MIDI hub. I guess for most MIDI hub users this will be sufficient and therefore I will not provide a step-by-step -step tutorial in this video. As indicated, the MIDI hub patch realizes a time order based ping pong scheme for voice allocation. So with every play note the output device changes. It's important to realize that this is not the one and only useful allocation scheme. A valuable alternative is the note number based allocation of voices. In this way each keyboard note triggers a fixed predefined device. For example C may play on synth 1, C sharp on synth 2, D on 1, D sharp on 2 and so on. If you work with a different left-right panning of the devices, a particular chord always has the same stereo image, no matter in which order you play the notes. This is not the case with a time-based allocation, which results in a more dynamic random-like stereo image. This may not always be what you want. In some cases, the note-based allocation is also easier to realize within a door. At least in Ableton it's not that difficult, because you can use the scale MIDI effect with different filter settings on two parallel tracks. But I do not want to go into detail here. Instead I would like to show you my mosaic solution, which comes up with some really nice features. Ok, it requires an iOS device, but everything works. It runs on an iPad, iPhone or even on an iPod Touch. You have to download the Mosaic app and you need a host app that makes the device connections and can load the Mosaic app as a MIDI plugin. Here I use the AUM app because it offers a nice connectivity matrix and is very easy to configure. You first create a MIDI track where you insert the Mosaic plugin and load the Pro 1600 patch. Then you go to the matrix and connect the plugin output to both Pro 800 devices. The input of the plugin needs to be connected also to the output of the first synth to copy all knob changes on device 1 to device 2. Last but not least, also the keyboard needs to be connected to the mosaic input. For the MIDI channels, by default I assume that SYNT1 receives and transmits on channel 1, SYNT2 receives on channel 2 and the keyboard sends on channel 3. The MIDI TRUE function should be disabled on both devices to avoid redundant MIDI traffic. Of course you can change the MIDI channels in the mosaic code window if you need a different setup. Perhaps the most striking feature of the Pro 1600 patch is that it provides both voice allocation modes. With the shift button you can just switch between the two modes and the active mode is shown in the headline. The pads below show the number of played notes per device. Blue pads in the first row for Synth 1 and red pads in the second row for Synth 2. In this way you can easily study how chords are distributed on the two synths. The knobs on the right hand side just indicate the note number and velocity of the last played note for each device.
want to try out the Pro 1600 setup, you find the corresponding patch storage links in the video description. Instead of another Pro 1600 demo, I decided to provide you with some very special clip at the end. It's already a few years ago that I was considering to make a channel trailer. I tried out several options and at the end I decided against the trailer. But several videos came out of this test period and here I want to present you my favorite version. So I hope you will enjoy this little clip and do not take it too serious. Thanks again for your interest and I wish you all the best. Greetings from Pete in a rainy little town in Germany. Cheers! Hi, this is Pete. Welcome to my channel. I'm a musician, programmer and scientist and this is the place where I like to share my ideas about making electronic music. In particular, this channel may be for you if you are interested in hardware and perhaps you are also looking for possibilities to reduce the role of the computer in your music. In my scientific world, computers are essential for the design of new algorithms and interfaces but Finally, as a musician, I'm happy when I'm able to perform all kinds of jams without the dependency on complex software such as a digital audio workstation. For me, it's also a bit of a back to the roots program, because when I started to enjoy the magic of electronic music some time ago, it was the natural way to create performances as unique snapshots in time without total recall and without the possibility to edit every single detail afterwards. If you want to join my indefinite experimental journey through sound and music, then it would be great if you subscribe to my channel. No, takes us away, this has no MIDI. Sorry for the interruption, I just wanted to say goodbye and stay tuned.